Oh, here we go. Hey, look, guys, I got, I know if you guys know who that is. That is TJ, and he is in the building once again. <laughs> this could be our last podcast together. Two great minds, innovative people. Um, so, but TJ, I know you got a lot of stuff on your plate and on your mind, but I want to try and get us on track on what we want to discuss today. Ladies and gentlemen, we got something special. We're going to talk about <laughs> whether you use people or not. Whether you use people or not. So now there's relationships. Are we using each other? Am I using you? Are you using me? In situations where if you want something, um, somebody to go to the store or something, are you using them when you need money? Are you using people? So let's start with a little bit. Are we using each other? And if, it's, if that's true, is that okay? In some occasions and sometimes, yes, it's okay. Because realize, and this is this, this how life goes. Without graduate, without help, there will pretty much be nothing. Okay. Now it's good to so there's sometimes it is good to use people, but also people use that as a negative effect to manipulate others. Like, so like if uh, I ask one kid, can I, hey, let me get five bucks and I promise you I'll pay you back. Okay. So I use him for money. I don't pay him back, but I'm ducking and dodging. That's using it in a negative way. I would say so. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. So that's using him, but is it possible, I guess, to, if you need five bucks or you need some change to, whether it's to catch the bus or to get something to eat because the person may not have any food at home and they're in survival mode, I wonder, is it using if you're poor, you don't have anything? I wonder, is it using then? Mm. If you depend on another person for an item or for just something, it doesn't matter how big or how small it is, it still be considered as using. Wow. My, so that's, that's just, that's my opinion. Some people might have like difference, but like, oh, that's like a different stance for uh, like, oh, that's a little bit different. You know how some people are. Let me ask you this. Is it using if you was homeless, if a person was homeless and somebody provided shelter for them, is that using the person that's providing the shelter? No. No? Because they're giving it to you instead of you asking for it. Or maybe they understand that you need it, right? Yeah. So, so maybe, but what don't we need love? Yeah, every, that's, see, that's what, like, no, 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 that's actually, that's very good to actually say that, because people never understand this, and they were like, oh, I'm going to never find love. That's one thing that you need to stop, rethink your mindset. Love is around. This is 2018. This is a, a big jump. Even while people is doing so much negativity, you can, okay, this counts right, that negativity are spreading good it takes one person to do good like it is going to spread like wildfire that's going to be me i'm telling you like is that true like yeah. you can help out an elder lady with carrying her her groceries or you could uh, a man drops his wallet and you can run pick it up and give it to him like excuse me say you drop your wallet and he gonna help him out or you could just like i know we get it off of like off a topic but no, we're not that's still kind of showing love, even if it yeah. is helping. If it brings a smile to somebody's face, and not even just a person, it can be a plant or it could be an animal because every living thing, no greater, no lesser, thrives and will live for love. Like two birds that's flying in parallel. They're, when birds are flying in parallel and we straight together, yes. that means it's a something that's between them. Even while they don't know it, it's something that's the back of their mind. Love always pops that's up a good sooner thing. or later. Man. <laughs> like, that's like, that, that, it's true. Like, is it true? Excited. Yeah. Like, it's true. Like, so like you in the car just driving home one day, and I don't know, you listen to music, and you just start deep thinking. And that one thing that popped up in your mind is love. Uh, and like, hold on, what is that coming out like? I'm like, oh yeah, uh, uh, I'm, a, I'm single. I've been a bachelor for how long? And some people get tired of it. Yeah. And some people try to work hard for it instead of working smarter. The harder you work, 
your more shots you're gonna move lose. But if you work smart, then it's going to have, I'll say probably a much more chess than working much more harder. And that's how people stress themselves all over. Like, man, I can't find me a girlfriend. Man, I can't do this. Because you're working too hard. Sit back, relax, take a breath, and plan out. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work with that person. It's always like love is everywhere, man. Love is in the air. <laughs> That's true. Do, do you think people feel less uh, likely to, to be in love when it's winter time? Is there something about that? It might be cold. And, and sometimes people, it's slow. People slow down, and that's very true. Yeah. Like, who, who don't like it when it's cold? Like, the snow is very beautiful, but sometimes I wish the snow was from, like, summer. I want to walk outside with sh wearing shorts and a T-shirt. And flip-flops. And so right, nice. some flip-flops. And it's like, it's like negative degrees, and I go out there, I'm like, it's cold. But no, like, love... Regardless, love will pop up if it's, it's snowing, raining, hailing outside, a lightning storm, thundering, cats and dogs pouring outside. It doesn't matter. Let me ask, let me ask you this. Go ahead. Oh, let, let me ask you this real quick. Tying it back to using just a little bit. Is it using? I wonder, what is the other person thinking? For example, like we experience, and you know about this, when you experience somebody in our environment that just constantly asking for stuff can I have some gum you know they don't even have dialogue with you can I use your headphones can I have some chips oh, and yeah. what is what do you think that person is thinking every single day when you're asking other people for stuff and you never give anybody anything it's like it's my opinion, it's like how annoying a person is. If, if, if you constantly keep asking and bugging me, like, hey, hey, can I, can I, can I, I'm like, don't punch this person. What do you need? Can I use your headphones? Here you go. So you don't want to hear that person's mouth or, or, or get in an argument with that person because they don't know how to take no. They might be using you for your thing, like, a person she asked me can you pass me a calculator and, and then her friend said a slick I'm like oh yeah he worked for pennies and I'm like no you just used me to do something for you but you're too lazy to get up that you got two working legs I remember it coming now how do you think that person feels when they are just like shouting out instructions how do you think they feel do they they think they're they think everything is a hierarchy layers upon layers upon okay. layers they think they're the top of the top but truly nobody's at the top of the top it doesn't matter how rich you are how poor you are People we're still considered as if you take away everything from items to money to everything in the world and just compare right. a person well with a person there's going to be nothing different the only thing they're going to say oh he's black he's white let's put that to the side do you have a heart yes do you have two lungs yes do you have two kidneys? Yes. Do you have a liver? Do you have a long and a short intestine? Do you have a vertebrae? Do you have bones? Yes. There's nothing different between people. But they throw in idols or, or they want to throw in race or they want to throw in other stuff. Because yeah. they just don't want to face it. See, we are the same. Hierarchy is a good word you use. So, in, the, in this pecking order, the people that feel like they're on top. So their mindset is to abuse or belittle the people that are below them, huh? Pretty much. So you, I would think, I'm just ridiculous, so y'all don't pay me no mind. <laughs> I would think that if I'm on the top of the hierarchy and I have more, wouldn't I help the people that don't have anything? Hmm. Or do I just abuse them? You Some know, people, is some people out there will help people because they have the money yeah or when somebody is like extremely rich and they cheap like i'm talking about like oh no i'm not like a selfish hermit Type like they, yeah yeah like 
there's some cases that somebody out there is rich time to time and they go to store and they steal but they steal they steal like that's what? like that's like that's very crazy you could just imagine somebody driving down the street with a mercedes benz or like a brand new mercedes benz 2018 2019 mercedes benz or, or lamborghini now those are some fancy smashing cars like seriously and that person steals it's, i'm telling you like it, it's it, it might sound shocking they might have the money that be able to do it but regardless, because they don't want to spend no money, they will do it. It's like I cannot I, tell you how disturbing that sounds. <laughs> like seriously, like it's, it's 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 it sounds outrageous. It sounds ludicrous, but what? it's very true. I never thought about that concept. It's like look you at you messed me up with that. Oh man, I was oh. one day I was just talking to a security guard at Walmart. I'm like, you ever had like what was the weirdest thing that happened to you? A person that had a 2017. Mustang had was stealing clothes. Well, not even stealing clothes, stealing like candy and, and, and food. And he know he could pay for it, but he Seriously. chose to steal it. That he, it was like, and I was scratching my head. I'm like, hold on, he did what? And he know he could pay for this? What? See, now I'm wondering what is going on in the mind of that person that's wealthy that steals. What's going on in the mind of the people who think that this hierarchy thing, um, how you can just ask people to, to get me a calculator or whatever. I mean, we may not know because none of them are here that's like, to represent. That's true. It's like, I don't know. It's like with me and my brother, like, you remember what the old was saying, still from the rich and I give to the poor? Yeah. Robin and Hood. Yeah, Robin Hood. But I'll, I'll, I'll think this. Like, if Robin Hood steals from the rich and gives to the poor, but the poor becomes rich and the rich becomes poor. So who's truly rich and who's truly poor if you steal from who? You giving some <laughs> you, I'm glad we get out. It's like wait, like, like it's... seriously, that's gonna make people think and that's the truth. If you say like Donald Trump gives all of his money, I'm talking about work guardians, he become flat broke, he becomes he fall bankruptcy so many times, but he like become flat broke, he he he's what they would consider now small fry. You know the little crumbs that they like, you would say like you get some piping on McDonald's fries. Yeah. And at the end, it's always that little salty crumbs. Yeah, that little debris and stuff. He's that. Might like take a little white bag. <laughs> <laughs> now say he was that low, and the ones who was that low becomes the, actually the big fries that you want, like the, the big fries that is like warm and, and it's so delicious. Like just thinking about it, get your mouth watered, yeah. those type of fries. Here we come. <laughs> but like, what happened to that? What happened just to people just being equal and caring for each other? Oh, um, right. You want equality? E like, regardless, like we could. This is just me. This is my mindset. I am retired and in tune with, I'll say, the universe and the earth, because I look at everything as the same. If it's not a living, then I'm not going to look at it as the same because it was just an object what does a meaning of an object have now if i was saying like okay what does this armor have to me and am i a night crusader what is this going to do for me right the reason why like and people never thought about this the reason why there's so many negativity things that are going off in the world it's look in your wallet so i bet it's in your wallet it's that i'm telling you it's that that money people got killed over it people got maimed over it and people get used over it. Man. And that's that, the main thing. Like, if, if I'm not using you for money, you're using me for money. It's like, regardless, like, somebody want to put the blame at him. Oh, he used me for $50. Oh, you used me for $120. But y'all realize y'all using each other for the common same thing. It doesn't matter how great it is or how less it is. It's Y'all still use each other for the same thing. So is it the way, we, is it the way you look at it or view that particular, particular situation? So if I, if I give you $150 and you gave me $50, I'm like, hey, wait a minute, it's a $100 difference. Right. Yeah, that's unspoken for. But did I get used or did you? But anyway, I, I think we're talking about the whole concept of spreading love, and we fans and advocates of that. And um, this video to me is about, you know, do we use people? And I want to try and tweak my own definition to say, um, no, we don't. I'm going to go on a limb. 
and say, no, we don't. And I'm gonna have to say that in order to promote love. Because if doing something for somebody else is considered using, and the word using has a negative connotation in my mind, yes. then, then love, therefore, doesn't have legs to stand on. So you're doing this video with me is sharing and you're showing love to me and my viewers <laughs> by spending your your quality time by your your time which is which is precious you're using your time to um to do the video please give me. all a small message to yeah everybody. it's so like are we using each other or or are is this just love this is just like if you're not all right this is one thing else that people think about use when i do something for you you also want something done for you Tip me. attack. Yeah, like tip attack. Yeah, it's pretty much. But I'm willing to do this of my free will, of my time. And I don't want nothing back out of it. I don't want no simplicity. I don't want no no fame off of this. It's, it's regardless, like, I'm helping you, but I'm also helping me at the same time because I am doing something. And I'm like, oh, yeah, this is cool. I'm showing a little bit of love. Regardless to you and to your viewers who watch this video, right, and listen to it, even if you don't watch it, and just listen. That's like regardless, like me, I don't. Sometimes this do happen. I guess I do use people, but at the same time, I have to stop that. I hear what you're saying. So, listen, we're talking about do you use people, and if you do, be conscious of it and try not to do that because it's not a good thing. Oh, yeah. to take advantage of a person. It actually has a lot of negative connotation to it. So if you try to look at the positive side of it in the word using, which is a negative word, so if we stop using certain words in our vocabulary, oh, perhaps yeah. we can start and start using the positive words, like we talking about love instead of using. Oh, yeah. So we transfer the word love, and we're gonna go with love instead of using. Ooh. So now we're on the right path. We're on the right path, oh, yeah. and we'll go forward for the rest of our lives using the word love instead of using the word using. And so you got any closing statements? Yeah, I got one. If you truly love your fellow man, that means regardless if you put everything to the side, and if you see a person that's homeless or, or somebody that's struggling, at least help and lend out a helping hand because love and being kind to others could go far instead of being negative and hating all the time. See, that's like... That's, that's all she wrote. Like, seriously, like, if you see somebody that's homeless and you got, like, some lunch that you brought from Taco Bell and you just, like, you know it, and you got food at home, but this person out here is struggling, give him or her that lunch. I'm gonna like, here you go. Have a blessed day. There you go. That is it. We and are gonna be thankful for that. Yes, we are definitely running short on time. But I, I love this. And hopefully we can squeeze a couple more podcasts in before the summer erupts. Oh, yeah. and, and, and everybody's out here doing what they're doing. So I want to pray that everybody's blessed and makes it through the summer safely. Have fun, but make sure you try to get through the summer you know and and have fun and and all the great so tj i want to thank you again for doing this podcast this is the motel granite show tj is in the house hopefully this is not our last one for this year because things change in our yeah. schedules we two california people <laughs> you know the la deal <laughs> you know you want to try and get la out in the, in the deal so while we West Coast riding, you know, I throw my W up for him <laughs> right here and twist it in the middle and all of that type of stuff to keep it straight legit. Oh, so yeah. we'll talk to y'all later.